I'm Ronnie with uh, BigFanboy.com here in Dallas. I know you well. Yes, and I'm so glad to have both of you. I have to tell you, I have no, I did not read the book, but I had the opportunity. But to you're going to now, right? Yeah, okay. definitely. I, I had the opportunity, so I didn't know what the story was about because I hadn't read the book. Uh -huh. So I went into the movie last night completely blind, and I have uh -huh. to tell you, I was very surprised by it. Um, just what a lovely love story it was. Uh -huh. So very pleasant surprise for me. And you'll have a few more su surprises in the in the novel. Well, but good. I, I, I love it that this that this wonderful movie is going to send people to the book. Yeah. Well, can you tell me why you picked the time frame of 1987? Um, well, I wanted to tell a story set in a simpler time, um, a time when people weren't always studying their cell phone. You know, because that's not very romantic. Um, I and I wanted to unplug people a little bit um, and get back to you know a pie made by hand and a boy riding his bike through the streets of the town um, but the other reason is that some time has to pass we are we are seeing the story of an experience of a 13 year old boy watching his mother played by Kate Winslet fall in love with this convict on the run played by Josh Brolin and some huge and life-changing things happen over the course of these days and we want to see their lives we want to see with some perspective of distance at the end we have Toby Maguire playing mm -hmm. him grown up uh, looking back and seeing how it's changed I mean I won't say what happens but but um, I wanted there to be some years passing well, I felt the scene with the pie, that whole pie-making scene, yeah. was very significant in that it shows how they're bonding together yes. in that moment. So tell me, what were you also trying to, uh, the audience, what did you want them to get out of that particular scene? I, uh, when Josh Brolin, Frank, the convict, um, makes that pie for the family, it is what my pie is when I make pie for somebody. It's a gift of love. And it's, he's been this, you know, this strong, tough guy, this, you know, uh, man's man, um, and a little scary, but we see his tender side then. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a very sexy scene, in my opinion, and, you know, people have compared it to that potter's wheel scene yeah. in, in Ghost. But it's also a very loving family scene. There are these three people who are all sort of hurt people, and they've all lost a lot, mm -hmm. including the boy. Um, and they they come together over this bowl of peaches. It, it chokes me up every time. It also chokes me up because I think of my mom, and yeah. my mother's the one who taught me how to make pie. I taught Josh Brolin how to make pie. So that's my mother's pie up on the screen. At first, like I said, I didn't read the book. For somebody who hasn't read the book, it was kind of a surprise scene. I'm like, they're gonna make pie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and why pie? Why not cake or cupcakes or something else? Because pie is. It's, it's something that you have to feel. It's not about the recipe. It's not about measure this, measure this, make everything exact. It's about feeling it. Mm -hmm. Kind of the way dancing is, you know, mm -hmm. the way falling in love is. Mm -hmm. There's no recipe for that one. Um, and you use your hands. Is that also why you made her a dancer? She's, well, she's a woman. She's a passionate woman. Mm -hmm. She's a woman with big romantic dreams mm -hmm. that have been broken. Yeah. And then? Josh Brolin shows up at her house. Mm -hmm. So um, something's going to happen. You know that. And the chemistry between these two mm -hmm. is extraordinary. Now, what did you do, Gatlin, to um, prepare for the role? Well, I, I read the script and the book multiple times. And I asked Mr. Reitman, you know, what, what should I do? What, should I study something? He's like, no, I, ju I just want you to show up the, on the day and know who your character is and know your lines. And he didn't want me to prepare or really anything. Mm -hmm. And were you able to draw from your own experiences um, and put, pull that into the film to help you with the role? Yeah, of course. Um, it's, well, you know, uh, Henry, he's turning into a young man. And I, I was going through the same thing, you know. It's, there's a lot of changes happening. And, and he has to kind of, he has to be the father of the house, you know. He has to take care of his mother. And, you know, my, my dad, uh, he works a lot. You know, he's a stuntman. Sometimes he'll be gone three or four months. You know, I don't have it as bad as Henry, but, you know, I, I kind of know what he was going through. You have, to, you have to be the man of the house. You have to take care of your mom. Good. And what was your favorite part of the movie? Uh, there's, I mean, every day was a new adventure. Mr. Brolin, you know, it was so funny. Miss Winslet was nice to me. I, she was incredibly, she was like my mother on set. Um, actually, a funny part, uh, the baseball scene. Um, Mr. Brolin, he threw the ball to me. I hit it. It bounced off his head. I caught it. And then they kept rolling, and they and they went up to. He's on the ground. He's laughing. Um, 
I think I think that was a pretty funny. I I, I had fun. He some that. of the best acting he had to do was to act like a person who didn't know how to play throw a baseball yeah. mm -hmm. because in fact <laughs> Gatlin's an incredible athlete. But this boy Henry is a boy who hasn't had anybody throwing a baseball for him. Mm -hmm. no. And in in the at least in the movie you threw in a love interest for Henry. Why did you opt to do that? Well, I don't know if she's a exactly a love interest. She's, um, she's this know-it-all, busybody, 13-year-old girl who's, in my opinion, boys at that age are the most vulnerable. She's, and, sh and sh she's kind of got her hooks in him. I wanted to show him he's dealing with his own new sexuality just as his mother is dealing with hers. And this girl is coming in like a, you know, <laughs> bulldozer. And she's determined. <laughs> she's going to give him his first kiss whether he likes it or not. She's kind of funny. Yeah. But she she's was. dangerous, too. She's yeah. very dangerous. Well, I think she came across kind of as his conscience, or the, the fears and doubts that he might have. She sort of brought them to life. At least that's what I. She's so manipulative, yeah. Yeah. you know. And I think that that um, a thirteen-year-old boy has so little deviousness. You know, thirteen-year-old girl, woo, watch out. <laughs> well, it was um, a wonderful film that I thoroughly enjoyed, and will definitely be spreading the word to go see it and to read the book. And luckily, Valentine's Day is coming. Up. Yeah. yeah. What better movie? What better movie? Yeah. Right. Well, thank you so much. Up. Thank you very much.